TV. I'm Steve Strum. This morning on Buzz About Art, we have Ron Episcopo. Good morning. Good morning. So your company is Art by Ronald. Correct. And usually the art segment is done by you, and I'm going to do my best not to screw this one up. <laughs> it's a little weird being on the other side. It, it is, <laughs> right? And so it's going to be interesting because, uh, you know, we're going to talk about your company this morning. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your company. So I am an artist, um, and I started painting when I was in high school. But uh, being the first one in my family who was going on to college, and you could imagine the look of my parents who have scraped to save every penny to put me through college. And they said, well, what are you going to study? And I said, art. And the look of shock and disbelief. Um, so I didn't pursue that. Uh, went on to a business career, but about uh, eight years ago, I started painting again. So tell us a little bit about your style. Okay. So my style when I originally started was a um, combination of photography, acrylics, tissue art paper to create a new image from what I had photographed. So from there, I emerged or uh, transitioned to more acrylics. And it's interesting, lately I've been going back to photography. Uh, my first time out as an artist, uh, I always feel that art, uh, when you create something, it's like your child. And the first time I exhibited, I didn't want anyone to say, you have really ugly children. So I was afraid to exhibit. And it was down in Fort Lauderdale at the Fort Lauderdale Art Guild. And I had exhibited two pieces. And their way of, of uh, conducting Jord art exhibits is you enter. They evaluate your art, then they call you and say either come and pick up your stuff or you're in the exhibit and then about two days later you get a call saying whether you had placed in the show. So the uh, first call you can imagine was pretty thrilling where they said your pieces were accepted. And the second call was you won third place and it was a pretty big exhibit. So that started my interest in the arts, um, re-emerging as an artist, reinventing myself. Um, and two years ago, I decided to go full-time into art. So this is one of your pieces that you have here? Yes. Tell us a little bit about this piece. Okay, so I was inspired by a day at a pond down in uh, Fort Lauderdale, and I was watching the reflections on the lake and thought that could be an interesting subject matter. So this is called Reflection on Lake. It's an acrylic. And if you look at it and study it, you kind of see the background of a house over there reflected again into the lake. Lights reflected back into the lake. This is one of my uh, middle of my career when I was transitioning from mixed media to acrylics. Um, and this one has won a couple of awards, but it's something I wouldn't sell. It's one of my personal favorites. So. And for somebody who has zero artistic ability on this side of the table, <laughs> uh, I can actually see what you're talking about, which is interesting because I never see anything in these. You know, yeah. you know the, one, the exhibits <laughs> where they have to look at it and then cross your eyes and you can see like words? Never. Yes. But this I can actually see the little house and, and, and so those look like they might be trees of the bank or something like no. that. I appreciate so, that. So, uh, how do people find out more about you? Where do they go to look at your gallery, and how do they get, connect with you? Um, pretty easy. Tried to keep my website as simple as could be, and that's artbyronald.com. Uh, and on that site, you'll find my background, everything that's up for sale, the gallery of things that have sold, um, and any projects or awards I'm working on. So, best place, Art by Ronald. And the last question, which is something that you always do for your guests, is mm -hmm. if you could collaborate with any artist, alive or dead, who would it be? Um, Andy Warhol. I just Love think it. he was a genius. And having lived in New York City about the same time that Andy Warhol, I'm sure our paths crossed. But I just think, um, and if you see some of my mixed media stuff, it does look like Warhol. So I would offer that it would be Andy Warhol got to collaborate with you. I appreciate that. Yes, right. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Guys, thanks for joining us on Buzz TV. If you like us, share us. And remember, live with gratitude.